Hello, and welcome to another MindFish Prep SAT video explanation for the official SAT study guide. My name is Jordan, and in this video, I'll be explaining problem 16 from section 8, test 1 in this book. This is a solve for x type problem. It reads like this. n of t is equal to t squared over 2 minus 20t plus k, where n represents the number of bees in a hive. The question asks, on what day was the number of bees the same as it was on day 10? So to get started on this problem, we need to find out how many bees there were on day 10. So we can just sub in 10 for t in the original function and see what we get. So n of 10 is going to be equal to 10 squared over 2 minus 20 times 10 plus k. This will simplify to 50 minus 200 plus k, which is the same thing as saying negative 150 plus k. Now, it might seem a little weird to get a value with k in it, but let's just move forward. So now, our objective is to find another t value that will give us the exact same value for n. So what we're going to do is take our original function for n and set it equal to negative 150 plus k. So if we do that, we'll get negative 150 plus k is equal to t squared over 2 minus 20t plus k. What you'll see here is that the k's cancel out so you don't even have to worry about them. Now we're left with an equation to solve. Negative 150 equals t squared over 2 minus 20t. Now anytime you're solving for a variable and you end up with an equation with a t squared or an x squared, a t and a constant term, that's a good indication that it's time to factor. So let's put this in a form that's easier to factor. t squared over 2 minus 20t plus 150 equals 0. Now, having a 1 half coefficient on that quadratic term makes it pretty difficult to factor. So let's make our lives easier by multiplying everything by 2. We'll get t squared minus 40t plus 300 equals 0. This is easier to factor. So let's set it up. So we need factors of 300 that are going to add to negative 40. So you can pick, well, we know 10 has to be one of the answers, and the other factor will be 30. So if we have t minus 10, t minus 30, negative 10 and negative 30, two numbers that multiply to positive 300, but will add to negative 40. So this tells you that the acceptable answers for this equation are 10 and 30. Since 10 is the number that was already given, the other time on which the value of the function will be the same is at t equals 30. And that's how you do it. Thanks, and please continue to check out more MindFish videos.